Hey there, crypto traders. So daily consolidation is underway. The number one question we want to know is, is this healthy? Is there a red flag for the bulls to be watching for? And what can we expect in the short term? Stay tuned. So starting off with King Dollar, again, best case scenario as far as the Bitcoin bulls are concerned, we have seen a higher low every single day on the dollar for eight days in a row. And here we are looking up at weekly resistance to try and change the weekly trend. And we're on day one of Bitcoin consolidation. I guess you could say day two, as yesterday was an inside bar, but holding on really well. And of course, the Bitcoin bulls would love to see the dollar lose this four hour uptrend and lose the four hour EMA 12 support. If that were to happen, we zoom out and we look for daily consolidation. And again, it just, it can't hurt the Bitcoin bulls to see the dollar pull back. Bitcoin broke the daily inside bar bearish and we bounced off of the daily 12 period EMA. This EMA has held as support for the last month. And if that level were to be lost, it would be a very clear shift in momentum. So I can simply say, if then, if the daily EMA 12 is support, then the Bitcoin bulls still have full control of the bigger picture. If that level is lost, we zoom out and we look for a weekly higher low to form anything above 10,000 essentially. What about the monthly close? We were on the verge of closing the highest that we've ever closed on the monthly time frame, and we failed. To me, honestly, that means nothing. So we're trading 24 seven and you know, whether or not we went Look at this, this move on the monthly. Are you really trying to tell me there's a, a notable difference that we went 28%, 29% on the month instead of 30%? For me, no, it just doesn't mean anything. If we start to lose daily and weekly supports, then we can talk about a double top rejection, but we could easily form a healthy weekly higher low and then look for continuation to end this year. We do have to be prepared. You know, what if, it, what if this is our top? The odds do not favor that at this point, but if this were to be our top and over the next month, we lose the daily uptrend, we see further weekly consolidation than the bulls want to see, then we will consider that a double top because we did only break that resistance level by less than 2%. So from that point, if that were to happen, I would be still viewing this as a two month equilibrium, essentially looking for that higher low to then form. Again, that's not a high probability scenario, but we need to be preparing for all scenarios just in case. I did get stopped out of a third of my swing position. I put my stop under the low of this lower wick because we saw the bull break. We flushed down and we broke support. We then held that support level multiple times. And I said, okay, that's significant enough for me where if that level breaks, daily consolidation is likely starting. I really like my gains on this position. I'll take a little bit off. And so now I am have a little bit more cash free and at this point, if I'm going to be looking to add into consolidation, it would be first four hour oversold conditions to have me interested. If we're going to see first four hour oversold conditions, that means we look for a four hour lower high on this bounce. And then we would have to drop to a lower low and lose the daily 12 period EMA. If that 12 period holds and we see continuation, that's great. I'm still making money. Again, when I'm making mistakes with where I'm at in my trading career, it's going to be leaving money on the table, not giving money back. So that's where I stand in the short term. I would love to hold this position as long as possible. And one more leg up over 14,100 to eliminate that double top possibility by getting follow through would certainly ease a lot of concerns of some timid bulls in the short term. So the hourly time frame is attempting to change the trend here. If we can get over the high of the bounce, 13,560. It'll be a little trend change. We're battling the EMA resistance right now. From there, we zoom out knowing that anything under 13,875 is just a four hour lower high. If we are going to see this daily support hold, we have to see a big enough bounce to create the space for a four hour trend change back to the bulls. If 
Over the next two days, the four hour trend changes back to the bulls and that low of 13,215 holds. Again, great sign for the bulls overall. We have election uncertainty approaching. We have to be watching how the broader market is reacting to it. And we have to be watching how Bitcoin's gonna be reacting to it. We know Bitcoin has disregarded the broader market bearish for the past week plus. And today it disregarded bullish. The S&P 500 futures were up overnight pretty much as we were pulling back on Bitcoin, futures were going up. So there's definitely more disconnect in both directions between Bitcoin and the broader market that we've seen recently. Doesn't mean it's immune. It just means it cares less right now, which is obviously a good thing because the broader market has been fairly weak over the last two weeks. But overall solid bounce off the lows. At this point, we're looking at almost a 3% bounce. And again, the four hour time frame changing the trend back to the bulls is absolutely the goal for the short-term bulls. The Bitcoin dominance chart is still doing the same thing that the Bitcoin US dollar pairing is, just in the sense that it's holding its EMA 12 support. We're just looking for a daily high or low, and there's no red flags on this current pullback. If I were to speculate on what it's going to take to see the altcoins gain strength relative to Bitcoin, in my opinion, it's only going to happen two ways. The first way would be a dump on Bitcoin. And during that dump, the altcoins would likely drop harder and faster. But then once Bitcoin forms a daily range, I'm pretty much looking for a Bitcoin range that's going to trade sideways for a week plus to be looking for Bitcoin profits to be going into altcoins. So that's going to happen one of two ways, in my opinion. We would either dump and then bounce and create in a large enough range that we can trade within that range for a week. I would expect the altcoins drop faster on this move, probably bounce faster, and then try to gain a little bit against Bitcoin as Bitcoin goes sideways. The other possibility would be a little blow off top where we see a daily higher low set, we see continuation, and then we create a large range, something like that, where Bitcoin bulls would outpace the altcoins and then we would be looking. Essentially what I need to see, try to simplify this as much as possible, a, we, a, a wide range established where we can say, okay, Bitcoin is likely to trade within this range for a significant amount of days. And during that sideways period, we would look for the altcoins to be able to gain a little bit. Because on any initial drop, I expect the fear in altcoins to be more significant. And on any breakout, I expect the attention to remain on the Bitcoin bulls. So sideways is what it's going to take. And you can see the ETH pairings, or I should say the BTC pairings, yeah, they had short-term bounces and they were fast and hard. But again, we knew they were just looking for a daily lower high and they're just not proving anything to us. And ever since the past three weeks, I'm keeping the same scenario. If we are in daily downtrends, I am not interested in looking at altcoin bulls. Give me a daily trend change setup and I'll start having interest. So ETH USD, bounce on the daily, just a lower high forming. And if we drop down and break 373, we will confirm a daily downtrend and we will confirm weekly consolidation with multiple inside bars breaking bearish. From there, we would look back down to the low consolidation, 313 and 310. So that's a possibility. And again, in my opinion, if Bitcoin loses the daily EMA 12, that will likely happen. So everybody wants to see Bitcoin hold that daily EMA 12 to keep this short-term bull momentum going. Link USD, we had a channel that had a nice entry for bulls to keep control, but unfortunately, right into the Bitcoin pullback, still battling this support line. But if we drop down and break 1075 convincingly, right now it's a double bottom. If we break it convincingly, it's a daily bear flag confirmed. What stood out as a clue? Inside bar bull break, look at that volume. Granted, this is only on Coinbase, but that bear volume or that bull volume is half the 20 day average volume. It was non-existent as far as proving any kind of follow through on that bounce attempt. We would need to hold 1071 and change the four hour trend back to the bulls. Even though on this bounce, we're just looking for a four hour lower high. Bulls are losing their momentum and it's looking like our weekly lower high may be set. High, low, lower high. And we would then look for a weekly higher low compared to 731 if this daily downtrend does get confirmed convincingly. Bears brought the volume, bulls did not. BNB USDT also shifting and starting to favor bears. And it happened on the bear break 
of this little daily high or low here at 29.80, 29.88, and the loss of this uptrend line. Look at this uptrend support line holding for months. And we had a horizontal resistance line rejecting the price. We got real tight. We knew there was going to be a, vol a volume and volatility spike. And it broke bearish. And now it's a potential daily bear flag. And if we drop back down and break 27.51, we have a weekly equilibrium. High, low, lower high. And we would scout a higher low compared to 22.10. XMR USD, daily bear flag already confirmed. And it was a mini head and shoulders. And that tells us, zoom out and look for a weekly higher low. Plenty of space for the weekly higher low. The first red flag that was given here was the weekly bull flag confirmed with just a couple percent of follow through straight into an upper wick and straight into daily consolidation. Whenever you break resistance and you don't see follow through, have it be an instantaneous little red flag that pops up. It doesn't mean instantly sell your positions. It just means start being skeptical of bulls because it shows us they're running out of momentum. So daily downtrend is now in play with a lower high and lower low. And we're watching weekly 12 period EMA support, which will be approaching. LTC USD, daily lower high is set. Again, big bull move, it gets the flashy attention, but you go to the Bitcoin pairing and you say, prove it bulls, prove a higher low and higher high. Prove that there is sustained bull buying and shorts are gonna continue being forced to cover. Litecoin gave it all back, the LTC BTC pairing, and now it's a potential daily bear flag and we could easily drop to lower lows. So keep it simple, Bitcoin pairing charts, if they are in daily downtrends, bulls have a lot of proving to do. And Bitcoin, now that I've gone through these altcoins, honestly, I'm a little bit less hopeful that Bitcoin can maintain this daily 12 period. It's not gonna make me change any game plan because I did already take a third of my position off and locked in some profit. So that's keeping me comfortable to be able to sit through the consolidation, but seeing how many of these altcoins are forming daily bear flags, it is definitely a little bit concerning for short-term bulls. So for the next 24 hours, can we set up a four-hour trend change back to the bulls to keep that daily chart healthy? And we'll check back in once we get some answers. Hope you're all well out there. Do good things. Establish your game plans. Are you going to sit through weekly consolidation? That's the question you need to be asking yourself right now because that will be the next step if these bears do get some follow through from here. So a little bit of history here for the end of the video. My good buddy Graham that I lived with back on the community farm back when I started the chart guys, he was the friend of mine that was an entrepreneur that helped push towards the creation of the chart guys. And we also decided to go big on ETH together. It was the kind of thing where I said, I've invested in my first cryptocurrency. And at that point I had, you know, a half of what is now a day maker in that position. And he said, oh, really, what's that? And I gave him some information. And the next day he walks into the kitchen and goes, I'm all in ETH. And so a day after that, I said, all right, I'll go big too. And went big into ETH, fully accepting that, you know, I could lose half my money and it worked well. So he ended up buying a property about 35 minutes from me. He's got about 30 acres and he's in the process of transforming it into a retreat kind of place. So he's got the wood fire sauna and it's right next to a cold pond. So we just got into the sauna, got all sweaty, get out, dive into the cold pond, stay in there as long as you can and a really fun, relaxing, nice routine. Mm -hmm.